Hello Legends. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the DeepSeek API within your Meg.com scenario. So to facilitate that API call, we're going to be using an open router module uh, in Meg.com. And open router is a tool that gives you access to pretty much every LLM you can think of under one roof. You just pay, um, there's no subscription here as it reads. Uh, you just upload your credits to open router and then you can just make API calls and just choose different models. You can go DeepSeek, Gemini, uh, Rogue Rose. Um, you can access the ChatGPT API, the Claude API. And I mean, the cool thing is you don't actually have to create a hundred different accounts to use a hundred different models. So it's very uh, good from that like model management point of view. But also I made a video a few months ago when uh, OpenAI released the O1 preview model and they had weekly usage limits um, well, for their rollout. And uh, I made a video that if you use Open Router and you access the O1 Preview API, you had no usage limits. You could just use it as long as you had credit on your Open Router account. So the use case is pretty broad, um, bypassing weekly usage limits, not having to have 10 different accounts to access 10 different APIs. And for simplicity's sake, um, we're going to be using the Open Router module now to access the DeepSeek API within Make.com. So I want to start off by just the scenario is going to be very basic. I'm just going to make a, um, I'm going to trigger this by uh, sending an API call from cursor. So let's just make a new webhook. So I'm just going to say new cursor and test, save. And uh, over in cursor, when I finish making the scenario, um, I'm just going to send an API call to this webhook. And now our next step is to use open router and we're going to go to chat completion and create a connection. So you have to create an account in open router. So just go ahead and create an account or sign in if you have an account already. All right, awesome. So I'm signed in and to create the API, uh, sorry, to create our API key, we're going to go to uh, settings, hover over here, go to keys, create a new key. And I'm going to say make.com create, copy this and go back to make and paste in the key and hit save. So now with our connection made, we're gonna go across and choose model. And as you can see, you can access pretty much um, like heaps and heaps and heaps of models, um, <laughs> which is insane. And if you just type in free, there's a bunch of free models that you can use as well. So um, yeah, we're just gonna be going with the DeepSeek R1 and enable automatic fallback. I'm gonna say no for now. And now going across to the actual API documentation for DeepSeek, um, just quickly, right? If I zoom into this section here, uh, let me see if I can still scroll. Okay, I can't really scroll, but uh, looking into this section here, this is the API call, right? We have the endpoint, we have our authorization, we have all the regular stuff. And then we have our body that we're sending, which is the uh, content role and then content user. Um, sorry, the content for the user and content for the system. Uh, but you can see here, we have the model that we're passing through. We also have, you know, max tokens, but what else is interesting here? We have stream equals false. So we can actually have streaming response from this API, uh, set temperature, top P, tools. We can do tool calling as well. So um, I can make another video where I actually explore the raw API using cursor. Um, if you guys wanna see that, please comment that below. But you can do um, just like the OpenAI API where you can do um, uh, JSON output format. So if you wanna have structured outputs, you can also have structured outputs using this API. You can do function calling using this API. Um, you can do multi-round conversation. So one thing we have to keep note of is the API call that we're making with OpenRouter is just a static API call. We're sending an API uh, call across to DeepSeek. We're getting a response back and there is no management of um, previous conversations. So let's say with the, uh, like if you go into a chat GPT, um, into the interface and you send a message, you get a response, send the next message, get a response. That entire message history of all the messages and responses is appended to that, appended to that conversation. Um, unfortunately with some um, API uh, APIs that you use, especially with Open Router, you have to create that ongoing conversation. And um, this is very similar to how Pinecone API works. You have to have a variable, like a conversation history variable that you 
essentially add all the um, questions and answers or the user messages and agent messages into a variable that is called conversation history. And then every time you make the API call with the new question from the user, you append that variable and it contains um, all the previous conversation. So that's a pretty simplistic way to describe it, but that's what we would have to do. So in this scenario, again, we're going, we're going very, very easy here, like very simple here. Um, all we're doing is making a singular request. If you want to have an ongoing conversation, it gets a little bit more complicated, but this is an introduction to just show you how you can do this. Um, so we're just going to be copying exactly what was uh, listed here. And by the way, if you did want to, you could just use a HTTP module uh, in make.com and then build out the API call yourself. And then you'd have to authenticate it with an API key from, uh, from DeepSeek. But instead of me creating a DeepSeek account, I already have an open router account. I can just create the API call here. So I can see I have messages and then I have content. You are a helpful assistant and then role system. So let's go back into here. So we have content. Let me just copy it exactly as it was. And role is, what do we have here? System, okay. Next we have hi and role user. So we have hi and role user. Let us save this and I'm just gonna trigger this to make sure that it worked. All right, looks like it's taking some time. All right, so I think it bugged out. I don't know why. Okay, we had a response. Yeah, it just timed out. I'm gonna save this to save my current status, refresh the page and see if make.com had a temporary issue. All right, so we've reloaded. Um, everything is still here. Your helpful assistant, hi and deep seek. Okay, looks like it's okay. Let me just see if it runs now. Okay, so it actually worked. Um, it took quite a long time, as you can see it, I mean, we had to wait the entire cycle for it to finish. I don't know why it's taking so long, but we have the response, uh, the assistance response, which is, hello, how can I assist you today? Okay, awesome. So what we're gonna do now is get a webhook response and we'll be sending it back and the body will be, uh, where are we? We have choices, uh, message, and we have content save okay so i'm going to save this now uh, there might be a step in between here where i actually have to take the response from here um, and turn it into a json string so can i all right, so i can use it in here that very well might be the case um, but for now let's just make this api call in cursor so let's open up a chat window here and say um create a basic API call to this. I want to send a message in the body that says, hi, how are you? Okay. And let's hit enter. Okay, let's just copy this and go sample.js, paste it into here. And we have, hi, how are you? We're making an API call. Uh, let me get my terminal and go node sample. And what I'm gonna do is bring this to the side, hit run once, wait for new data, and let's just send this across node sample, okay? So we had the, uh, the body came into here, which is, hi, how are you? And now we have to configure this. I'm gonna just hit stop. And I'm gonna configure this to have uh, the message that we're sending in from our webhook, which is coming in from our uh, cursor API call to be this message. And then the output should be fine there. So I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna hit run once, wait for new data. And once again, I'm just gonna deploy this and say node sample and hit run. Okay, put that off screen and now we're processing our request. So I'm not sure if it's um, meant to be taking this long. Uh, okay, so it's, uh, you know, it responded, there we go. We had a response and uh, let's see 
Hi, I'm just an AI, so I don't have any feelings, but thanks for asking, how can I assist you today? So as you can see, we just made an, uh, a very basic flow. And I think the really, really cool thing that you know we're seeing in this video is you can use Open Router, which is a tool that lets you access all sorts of different LLMs, um, a lot of free ones, and obviously a lot of paid ones from really popular uh, tools and really popular providers. Um, but yeah, in this case, we have a very simple flow, which is not very technical, um, but it integrates the DeepSeq API call using Open Router. So um, yeah, guys, hope this was useful to you. I think the concept here, the underlying concept is how you would use this uh, API in make.com. Once again, you could just use the um, use a HTTP module, make a standard API call, an authenticated API call, um, create an account for a DeepSeq, and just follow this formatting here. Uh, and then you can paste it into your uh, HTTP module and then you know make the API call much in the same way. Um, if you wanna see other videos about you know using structured outputs or I don't know, can, like um, multi-turn conversations in make.com, please comment that below. I'm happy to work on that and bring it out. Um, or if you wanna see me exploring the API in cursor in depth, you know, making function calls using uh, structured outputs, uh, using streaming, you know, things like this, also comment that below. All right, thank you very much, guys. Uh, enjoy. See ya.